Hi, I'm Blair Gilbert here for MrHardware.com and Gilbert's Pro Hardware in St. Clair Shores, Michigan to do a quick little dissertation about light duty wall hanging. So we're going to talk about nails, anchors and screws, but for doing light stuff around the inside of the house and how to do it easily. We're going to start with the simplest, a nail. My nail pounded at an angle is good for an easy five pounds. See it's there, see I'm at five pounds, I go, I'm all the way to 10 pounds off of, off of a little nail. Now here's the 10 pound hanger. This 10 pound hanger is gonna go over 10 pounds, but not much. I come over to my Molly. My little plastic anchor in a Molly, I'm at 15 pounds. That's a big picture at 15 pounds. Molly, age old, this is a 30 pound anchor. This is gonna go all the way. These easy anchors are both good for like 15 pounds and up to 30 pounds for it. 25 pounds, I'm at 30 pounds, it's not even flinching. When you put a nail in, you don't put it straight and it can pull out. You put a nail in at a sharp angle. Now, when we hang something on that nail, it's gonna hold more strength than you can believe. Then we have an anchor, standard wall anchor. These come in like, they're usually rated 10 pounds, 50 pounds. But what this is, this is a nail, but with a metal brace making the nail stronger. So we throw it in. The only thing I don't like about these sometimes is the, the protrusion from the wall. I can push that nail a little further and I can keep it close. My picture isn't tilted out. Then we have the nail with the built-in washer. These are pretty cool. You don't need the washer and they do leave the nail sticking out a little farther than I'd like. When I'm putting a wire or something on this nail, I get it down low so that the wire barely catches it so that, again, I'm not pushing my picture away from the wall. Then we have plastic anchors. These are nice in that we have control. When we put them in, and in lieu of drilling a hole and creating some dust in the house and getting yelled at, I'll take a screwdriver, a 3 16 my small screwdriver matches the small one, the quarter inch, my standard slotted screwdriver. You rotate and push. See how nice that goes through the wall? And then I take my hammer, I tap in my little plastic anchor, my quarter inch anchor. And then I can take and run a screw into these. Leave it out any particular distance I need. And these have real good pull-out strength. And they're strong. These are not going to pull out easily because on the back side, they've got teeth. And you see the screw's long enough to spread the wings apart so it's strong. The most common failure with a plastic anchor is the person that uses too short a screw doesn't go to the back of the anchor and push the fingers apart far enough. Then we go to the Molly. This baby's old as the hills. This is a reusable anchor. You see it's got a metal shield on it. It's got teeth and it's got a threaded machine screw. So when this is installed, before we hang our picture, what these are good for is handrail brackets. They're strong because watch what happens. When we tighten this baby, see how it expands and grabs the back side of my wall? And then now I can take out the screw. So when I'm painting or remodeling, I can take my bracket off and I can put it back in because this is a very reusable hanger. It's nice, called the Molly. Then we'll switch to the two toggle bolts. One is the original one that my grandfather grew up with and the other one is the one that I sell mostly. Now the one grandpa used needs a little bit bigger than a 3 8 hole so I gave it a little ream. Most of you will recognize this anchor. The original toggle bolt. You push it in the wall, it springs out, it grabs the back side of the wall, and you hang whatever you're gonna hang. It's okay, 
but when you undo whatever is hung on it, when you take out the screw, the anchor commits suicide. Oh, can't reuse that one very well. Zip tie toggle bolt. What happens with this one is, when we install it and pull it back, it's a zip tie, two zip ties, and we tighten them up to the wall. The zip ties are now holding the metal plate. The zip tie happens to be very fragile. See how easy that broke off? Now I can come in and I can hang with my screw. It's reusable and it's very strong. So that's the toggler. So those are some of my favorites. Now, what we also have are what's called, these are called easy anchors. These are cool, these are fast and easy. They're only good in drywall. I'll poke a little starter hole. I'll use an ice pick when I'm doing this because the ice pick, when I shove it in the wall, if there's a stud there, I don't need an anchor. I just need a long screw to go hit the stud. So the little plastic one goes in. It drills its own hole and it sucks right up to the wall. Boom. Sweet. Now that takes a number six screw. Comes plastic or metal in the small size. This is the bigger one. This takes number eight screw. And that is in. Look how, what a beauty. Huh? Nice. Sometimes they unscrew when I'm removing them. You saw how that easy anchor screwed into the drywall. Sometimes if I'm using multiple uses of it, the darn thing will come out of the wall. I've had to put a drop of yellow glue on them and run them back in the wall and let the glue dry to turn the easy anchors into a more permanent solution. Now one anchor that I see in a lot of kits, I got one more thing that takes any of these anchors and makes them better, and that's called the molly hook. So it's just a plate with the hook on it, and I can use it with my smallest, lightest weight anchor, and I can make this anchor go from 20 pound load rating to a 30 pound load rating, and I can use this on any of these anchors, actually. It just gives me a better hook. So, my nail pounded at an angle is good for an easy five pounds. I'm all the way to 10 pounds off of, off of a little nail. Now here's the 10 pound hanger. This 10 pound hanger is gonna go over 10 pounds, but not much, the metal's starting to fatigue. I come over to my molly. My little plastic anchor and a molly, and again, this metal's gonna fatigue because my key ring's a little bit fat, but I'm, I'm at 15 pounds. Molly, age old, this is a 30 pound anchor. This is gonna go all the way I'm stopping at 25 so don't get hurt here, but that is, these are strong anchors. This toggle wing is strong because it's got a metal plate on the back side, so I can't pull down on it until I have something attached, but it's very strong. These easy anchors are both good for like 15 pounds and up to 30 pounds for it. 25 pounds, I'm at 30 pounds. So the easy anchors, I'm in drywall, probably your best bet. Now one anchor that I see in a lot of kits, this particular one should have a half inch gap in here for half inch drywall. And I just am not fond of them because I never know how they're performing for me. I drill a hole, kind of a large hole, you know, bigger than my quarter inch holes, and I shove it in, and then I have to hope my screw pushes these fingers out to make this strong. So that's my quick dissertation on this, and. Uh, Happy hanging from Mr. Hardware.